happy Sunday. I've had the best weekend ever. My best friend Caitlin came up for the weekend and we had a blast. She's currently packing up right now and I'm really sad about it, but it's fine. She'll be back. Um, she lives in Charlotte, so she came for the weekend. And I thought it'd be fun to film a little Sunday reset vlog, if you will. I love watching these, so my apartment is a mess. And so that's what Sunday's all for. We clean the sheets, we do the laundry, we clean, we face mask, we ice roll, we just reset in general. Maybe we'll make some juices or ginger shot. So I thought I'd take you guys along. She's about to leave for the airport. I've got my sweatpants and tank top on, which is my cleaning outfit, and we're gonna get to work. <laughs> Don't leave me! I am so sad, but it's okay. All good things must come to an end. So I think I'm gonna start by setting the mood. We're gonna light a candle. Yum. Cheers. I'm literally, I'm constantly drinking so many different beverages. I have a little Croy back there. <laughs> Green juice. I <laughs> definitely put too much ginger in this juice, and I already know that because I already had a glass of this. I did ginger, kale, cucumber, lemon, green apple, celery. But I put a whole thing of ginger, and I should have just done a half, so. You learn, you know? It was so funny. This weekend, while Caitlin was here, we each had an ice roller, and every morning I'd pull them out. And I'd say, okay, it's time to ice roll I iPad. She was like, I feel like I'm at a retreat because then we'd like go to bed and I would turn my red light therapy on and put my hatch like sleep sounds on. <laughs> so funny. But I've had a lot of people ask me a review of the Amazon ice roller versus the Skinny Confidential ice roller. So I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I love this. So this one's like $70, which is really, really expensive. Um, but I just had so many people DMing me and telling me that if I love this $10, I think it's like, maybe it's 15. I'll link this down below for you guys. If I love this so much, I should definitely invest in the Skinny Confidential one. So I was really excited because I really love this one. It does squeak. That's the only thing. But other than that, this one's great. It stays cold for a really long time. I'll literally have it out for an hour and I'll just like put it down on my couch and I just use it. Like it's amazing. This one I thought would stay cold even longer. I love it, it says hot mess. It has a thing for your thumb. And this one's definitely better for lymphatic drainage. You can really get in there. With this one, if you like to start to press, I don't know if it'll do it right now, but it like comes off the barrel. So in comparison, this one's a lot cheaper, obviously. This one's beautiful, it's very, very pretty. This one does not stay cold very long. And I mean, for some people I know they just wake up and they ice roll their face for like five minutes, then this is great. However, I like to sit and watch a movie and just constantly roll my face. And when Caitlin and I were sitting in front of the TV using these, mine was literally warm to the touch and hers was still freezing cold. So this one, when you pull it out, it's colder than this one right away. So like if you want that instant, but this one just stays more consistent and constant. Um, so that's my review. I love both. I will use both. Um, I mean, I love the way this feels. I, I think it's like a silicone handle. I, it's so, I mean, it's so adorable. But I was getting frustrated because it was just warm. And you can't just like put it in the freezer for a second. Like it has to be in there again for a little while. My friend told me that she takes this off and just puts this in the freezer and that kind of helped keep it colder a little longer. But, and right now this one's great. I like this one better. I like the way the handle is. I don't like this handle but this one just stays colder longer. So I thought I'd give that review. I really think just get this one, but I'm a big Skinny Confidential stan. I love her and I, you know, this is so cute and I'm really thankful that I could afford this, but 
I wanted to be honest with you guys. Like, I don't want you guys to go splurge if, like, you're not sure about it. Um, but also if you're that type, <laughs> it looks so funny right now. If you're that type of person that just wants, like, a quick, like, little free, like, this is really cold when you first take it out of the freezer. So, sorry if that was, like, a long-winded answer, but I wanted to just, they both feel great. And I will still use both, but, yeah. It's laundry time. I have a lot, so I'm going to do lights and darks. My hamper was overflowing, so I literally started putting some of the darks in the washer already. Um, Sundays are just meant for laundry, and that's that on that. I would like to get to my sheets too, but I might just wait another day. Um, so I just need to do my clothes. I love this OxyClean stuff. It's really, really great, but sometimes I just love the Lilabo. Um, Santal 33 detergent. There's not a lot in it and I'm almost out But it smells so good. I honestly try and save it for my sheets and towels because I want them to smell really good Because um, when I wear clothes, I put on perfume and stuff. So a little shout out there um, But yeah, let's do some laundry, baby. Oh shoot <laughs> And then I always keep my hamper right outside of my washer and dryer so I don't forget because once it stops making noise, you don't think about it. And then I'm like, okay, it must be done. Putting away some clothes and look how cute all the gals on the go merch looks all together. So precious. Oh, shut, please. <laughs> Another part of my Sunday reset, cleaning the white sneakers. They're very dirty. These things come in handy. Shoes are looking a lot whiter. However, these, the bottom parts, I got a lot of the dirt off, but they're fabric. I think I can put these in the wash. I think I'm literally gonna call my mom and ask her. But it's so loud when they're in the wash, right? All right, apartment is looking a lot better. Always love a good Sunday clean. Oh my gosh, guys, look how fun this bag is. I got it from Zara for a warm weather vacation I'm going on in March. And I just think it's so fun. Love it, love it, love it. So clean. All right, it's ginger shot time. I'm about to go run over to my friend's house. house. I always say house, apartment in the West Village. Uh, my friend left her. Parker here the other night, she like wanted to wear a cuter jacket, so I let her borrow one of mine. So we're gonna do a little switcheroo because she needs her parka and hang out there for a little bit. And then I think I'm gonna do some grocery shopping and Ryan and I are gonna make dinner together tonight. So I'm gonna make a ginger shot. And this might be my last or second to last shot in my thing. I need to go buy more ginger root today. Oh, I get one more shot out of that. Um, so I just do ginger and lemon. Um, then I put a little cayenne pepper on top for that burn. I am like dying laughing at how many of you, every time I post on my Instagram story, like <laughs> taking a ginger shot, so many people are like, you better have rinsed with water afterwards or use a straw. If you guys know, you know, my dentist exposed me and could tell by the enamel in my teeth how often I'm taking ginger lemon shots. So that's really good. But yeah, cheers to our health. Cheers to Sunday reset and just cheers to life, baby. Oh, that feels great. My dentist said I could let the burn happen for a couple minutes. Then when it's, it's done, I'll rinse with water, but whew. All right, here's my little Aaron's outfit. I'm wearing this Skims sweatsuit. Love it. It's um their outdoor set from their outdoor collection. Really like it. This outfit is not like a look by any means, so I don't even know why I'm showing you guys. Ritzia Puffer, this green bag is from N-U-N-O-O. -O. They're on Instagram, I just love the green. And then my faux um, mini Uggs from Amazon that are linked on my Amazon shop, which is down below. So let's go run some errands, get outside, get some fresh air. Okay, I just got back. I didn't end up going to the grocery store um, because Ryan wants to, he's hungry and wants to eat. So he's actually at the grocery store right now, and he's getting ingredients for us to make little um, bowls. So we're doing like chicken, rice, beans, salsa, guac, that kind of vibe. So I was like, I don't need anything for tonight. I don't foresee myself making ginger shots tonight. So I was gonna get some ginger. Um, I am so sad. So Liquid IV did an um, like announcement on their Instagram last month sometimes, saying they were coming out with a limited edition grape flavor 
and I was so excited. So I bought two. Thank God I bought two because I went to buy more yesterday. They're, they're like nowhere to be found. I guess it was like a limited stock thing. So I am sad because I am one of those few people that really loves grape flavored things. And this is my last bag, but I'm a big liquid IV girl on the weekends. I feel dehydrated. So this is gonna get me where I need to be. We're gonna cook together. It's gonna be a good vibe. And um, tonight is not turning into, I mean, it has been a Sunday reset, but we are actually doing something tonight. Um, I have to do a couple things, then I'll tell you guys what we're doing. All right, Ryan's here. Hey. Hi. Just got him the shirt, Thank which you. I didn't know that you also bought some, but you need more shirts anyways. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, too many. yeah. Um, we are cooking. He just brought all the ingredients. We're doing mm -hmm. chicken. So we're able to find. Okay, so we'll chop up the tomatoes. No salsa. That's fine. And then we'll have some guac on it. What else did you get? Ooh, it's like Christmas morning. <laughs> some chicken seasoning. Oh, need that. Don't have. And then oh, corn too. Fun. And then I also have black beans. What? Fun. Fun. Some fun corn right there. I've got the black beans. <laughs> Love some corn. <laughs> Look how beautiful she is. Mmm. Ryan just left. Our dinner was delicious. I love doing a face mask on Sunday nights. Um, typically something that's very hydrating. Um, so I think it only makes sense to do clean slate. Um, this is a loops mask. I love these. I really love them because they are only 10 minutes and I just love the like material. It's like this gelish kind of material. It's just very cooling on your face. I don't always love sheet masks, but these are like nice. I know this angle is very flattering. So we're gonna put this on for about 10 minutes. Um, so while I was at Mary Stephen and Morgan's apartment, Gretchen texted me. Yes, Gretchen Garrity. And I knew she was in New York this weekend and it wasn't gonna work out to hang out because um, Caitlin was here, but I didn't know she was staying tonight as well. And she texted me and was like, this is so crazy, but are you and Ryan around tonight? Max and I want to go see um, a comedy show. And she knew who to call because I am only obsessed and so is Ryan. Um, and I was like, oh my gosh, like, I don't know, because Ryan's been swamped with work this weekend. I was like, I don't know, let me ask Ryan, because I mean, I haven't seen Gretchen since pre-pandemic. I love her with my whole heart. So many of you probably follow her as well. I've never met Max, her boyfriend. And so I was like, oh my gosh, like I was totally thinking about like a Sunday detox reset situation tonight, but I've kind of gotten to do that throughout today. Um, and she was like, I know, I'm so sorry. Like you probably want to do the face mask and everything. I still make it work. We are doing it now. I will drop anything to go see Gretchen. So we're going to a 10 o'clock show at Comedy Cellar. I'm so excited. Ryan was surprisingly down. I texted him and he was like, yeah, sure, let's go. Um, so he and Max will meet. Um, and I'm so excited. It'll be so fun because she was here like a week or two ago, but I was home in Tampa. So I'm so excited to see them. Sunday night comedy show. I've literally been to the Comedy Cellar. I think this is going to be my eighth time. So, and I'm not kidding, maybe ninth. Like it's, I counted last time, it was either six or seven last time. So yeah, we're gonna do this face mask for about 10 minutes and we'll get ready together. I also, when I first put the face mask on, like to um, roll it into your skin so it doesn't come off. Um, who knows if it does anything, like literally all these things, but I don't really care. Like I just feel so good and so moisturizing it's very cooling it just feels so good on your face also a little upgrade that i made to my life that has truly changed for the better i sound dramatic but so obviously we all love the laneige lip mask or just any sort of lip mask or lip balm in a pot it's just super moisturizing however i always stop using it because i don't want to dip my finger in it's just a whole thing so i literally went on amazon and i bought this super inexpensive lip brush i don't know why i haven't thought of this before and it just saves all the trouble I always like to put lip balm on when I have a mask on for some reason. So this feels like slightly more sanitary. It's not really, but it keeps my hands from getting sticky. Pro tip that I just learned because 
um, when Kelly and Kat, two of my makeup artist friends, have done my makeup recently, they used a brush. I mean, obviously because they're makeup artists and it's more sanitary, but I was like, ding, ding, ding. It's easier to apply your lip mask, so if any of you have that issue, I've got you. Also, while we're here, I have a new favorite scent. I am obsessed with scents, as you guys know. Le Labo Noir. Oh my gosh. It smells so good, I couldn't describe it to you. Next time you guys go to a Le Labo, smell it. It's so unique. It's a little bit more masculine, but I really like it. I can still smell it on myself. And like, I know when you go out in public, people can still smell you and you're like, wow, you can still smell it because you can't, but I can still even smell it. So much so, my friend Mary Steven, who's used one perfume for like her whole life, she was like, I might have to switch to this. Like, it's so good. And you guys know how much I love scents. So, definitely check it out if you're on the market for new perfume. It's not very girly. It's like, I don't know how to explain it. So I just took my darks out of the dryer because I had to put my lights in the dryer. Fun fact or tip, which I feel like a lot of people do, just do all your laundry at once because then I had all my lights to put in my dryer but I couldn't do anything unless I folded and took out my darks. So I literally just folded and put everything away from my darks which is really nice so I'm not like procrastinating it. So now I have my lights in there. We're gonna start that dryer baby and then we're almost done with the laundry. I'm so happy about that. It's almost time for me to take off my mask. I just have to know though, are you guys people like you put a timer, 10 minutes, you take the mask off, or do you just wait until it starts peeling off of your face? Because that's kind of what I do. But knowing that it's only 10 minutes, I'm like, okay, after 10 minutes, like I'm good. Can I get the dishwasher going? Ooh, oh my gosh, should I attempt to wash my sneakers? I feel like I should since I'm about to leave because I feel like it'll get really, really loud. Do I have to take the laces out? Oh, I need to Google this. Calling my mom. She's like, you don't call me. And I'm like, I'm calling you, you don't answer. Oh my God, hey! Hey, I mean, Freddie's calling me, you're calling me. I feel so loved. I wanna wash a pair of sneakers in the washer. What do I do? <laughs> they're white sneakers, but they're like cloth and I stepped in a puddle of slush. It's not sludge I learned, it's called slush. And it's like muddy. It. No, I have the laces. In. Okay, just take the insoles out or no? Keep those in too. I leave them in there. Oh, and then just like do like a gentle cycle. All right, it's been about like 25 minutes. I just talked to my mom on the phone for a while, and my sneakers are going, and you really can't hear too much. I put a towel in between to buffer, and it's amazing. Um, so hopefully my um my shoes look good. Just took the mask off, feeling moisturized. We're gonna do a little skin prep before we put on makeup. I'm kind of excited. I've just been like loving putting on makeup recently. Um, and I'm using this Ella Luz beauty oil that Kelly gave me, which was so sweet. And this truly makes my makeup look so glowy underneath. So shout out Camila Coelho, because this is her company. And shout out Kelly for bringing me one, which was so sweet. Uh, so she said to just like really work it into your skin and I don't remember if I said this in a vlog already but she was saying how if you skin prep properly like moisturize and eye cream and really work that serum under your eyes you don't need primer and I was so blown away so I'm just gonna do light makeup I always say that but by light makeup I mean like no eye makeup for sure and my my lash lift I got a lash lift in tint you guys with Michelle um, Beauty by Mishy Lee, M-I-S-H-Y, in New York City. Like, these are my natural lashes. I, I can't get over it. My lashes are naturally long, so it's not gonna look the same on everybody, but I haven't worn mascara since she came. Um, so anyways, yeah, I'm just gonna let this soak in a little bit. I'm gonna do our makeup, and go to the comedy club. Just finished my makeup. I think I need to do another like updated makeup routine because I've just learned so much recently and I've gotten so many compliments on my makeup so thank you all so much. I just realized I actually have to do my hair or do I? Do I? Sorry I know this angle is just not the best but I need to just get a permanent bathroom tripod or I wonder if I could get a suction cup mirror tripod like they use in um, Vogue Beauty Secrets that I could just Put on the mirror. I think I can get away with this. Do I have to fix my hair? I could put a little dry shampoo in. I think I'm just gonna hope and pray that this, I feel like this looks fine. 
Yeah. All right, here's a little fit for the night. Ryan just got here. This, you watching me? Yeah. <laughs> this bodysuit is from Revolve. I got it last year. I love it. I've gotten great use out of it. It's good like winter bodysuits because it's like sweater material. Hair is just hair. Leggings are by the brand Commando. I love them. And then Ryan helped me pick out my shoes. I'm wearing these booted, boot, booted, pointed booties from Mark Fisher. And I'm gonna wear a coat. Ryan says it's not that cold out. It is 30 degrees. And he's just wearing that. You're not even wearing a puffer? I'm not, not yet. You're so crazy. So we'll see, but I am so excited to see Gretchen and to meet Max and just to laugh. So, woo! Off to Comedy Cellar! Woo! You excited to meet Max and Gretchen? Yeah, I'm ready. It's I'm excited. excited. Here we are. Let's go. Let's, let's laugh. <laughs> <laughs> we got called out in the comedy show. At, at the end of the show, he comes out and he calls out Gretchen Garrity, Danielle Carroll, and he pulls up our Instagrams. <laughs> yeah, it's honestly embarrassing. It was so funny. It was so fun. We're here at the boys. Say hi. <laughs> we closed out the comedy. Oh, literally. Oh. Closing, Closing time. time. I'm so happy. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> I am so happy we went to the comedy cellar tonight. First of all, it's almost 2 a.m. on a Sunday night. Literally went to the bodega and got a sandwich like it's a Saturday night. I literally got two dinner shots to go. I had two glasses of wine and I'm like feeling it right now. The host, he comes out for the comedy cellar. Obviously, Ryan and I recognize him because like I said, this is our eighth time there. You know, he's making fun of us. Like, from the start, he comes out and he's like, where are you from? And I was like, Florida. And he's like, of course. Like, just making fun of us. And I, I like, prefer to be, like, literally Gretchen and I going into the show, we're like, please make fun of us. Like, please. It's so funny. By the end of the show, I'm not lying. Like, proof is in the pudding. This man, this host, Will, he's amazing. So funny. Comes out on stage, pulls up me and Gretchen's Instagram, goes, Gretchen and Danielle are influencers fully and is like roasting us like even more in the funniest way we're dying laughing Gretchen and I are like how did he find us I still don't really well I kind of know so then after the show we're going to the bathroom and he pulled us aside and he was like you guys were troopers like you guys were so fun and we were like you were so funny like thank you so much and we were like how did you find us and he was like well I recognize one of you because you're here all the time <laughs> so I still don't know exactly how he found me I follow comedy seller I don't know, but I just love Gretchen. It was so nice meeting Max. Anyways, I'm gonna end the vlog here. <laughs> no more Sunday recess to be had. I'm just gonna take all my makeup off, eat this, and go to bed because I have a big day tour. <laughs> but I love you guys so much. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.